In this video, a remote user needs to connect to the Office resources using Dialup IPsec VPN with 40 client as the Dialup client. Let's have a look at the sequence of steps we will take to make it happen. On the 40 gate side, you will configure a remote user with a two-factor authentication and add this user to a dedicated VPN group. Next, we will configure an IPsec VPN tunnel with a predefined user group. On the remote user side, we will install 40 token mobile app. Then we will establish the IPsec connection to the 40 gate using the two-factor authentication. Please note that in a managed corporate environment, the VPN configuration can be deployed using 40 client EMS. Let's go to the 40 gate now. The 40 gate license comes with two free mobile 40 tokens that are already installed on the 40 gate. You can also purchase additional 40 token licenses and apply them to the 40 gate. We already created a local VPN user and added it to the VPN group. Now we will edit this user and add a two-factor authentication. Enable two-factor authentication and select one mobile token from the list. Enable send activation code and select email. Enter the user's email address. The user will receive an email with the instructions on how to install mobile 40 token app. We will go over them shortly. You can also use 40 token cloud subscription as an alternative to the mobile tokens. This is a service that's offered by Fortinet. Next, go to VPN IPsec Wizard and configure the following settings for VPN setup. Enter VPN name. For template type, select remote access. For remote device type, select client-based 40 client. Click next. Configure the following settings for authentication. For incoming interface, select when one. In our case, it's the port four management interface. Note that we will use the public IP address for this interface when connecting from the remote user. For authentication method, select pre-shared key. In the pre-shared key field, enter a value for the key. Note that the same pre-shared key will be used on the remote user side. From the user group drop-down list, select VPN group. Click Next. Configure the following settings for policy and routing. Select your local interface from the local interface drop-down menu. This is the local interface that will connect the remote user to the internal resources. Configure the subnet in the local address. Configure the client address range. This is the IP range for the remote users. We will also adjust the subnet mask value. We will keep the default values for the DNS server and IPv4 split tunnel. The allow endpoint registration option is used when your 40 client is managed by the 40 client EMS. Click Next. Adjust client options as needed, then click Create. Next, you will be presented with a list of created objects, including Phase 1, Phase 2, address range for the remote VPN users, as well as new policy. You can see the new policy under the firewall policies. The policy grants access for the predefined IP pool to the marketing network. Next, let's go to the remote client. First thing we are going to do here is open the 40 token activation email. The email contains a documentation link to various 40 token scenarios. In our case, we will use a mobile simulator to download and install the 40 token app. Once the app is installed, we simply scan the QR code found in the email to activate the 40 token app. 40 token app generates codes that we will use for the second factor authentication. We will use this code later when we connect through IPsec VPN. Next, we are going to establish an IPsec connection using 40 client. Open the 40 client and go to remote access to configure the VPN. Provide the name to your IPsec tunnel, provide the gateway, note that the remote users will need a public IP to connect remotely. The pre-shared key is the same key that you added on the 40 gate side. Now our setup is complete and we can connect using a VPN. We will log in as a VPN user we configured on the 40 gate earlier. Because we have a two-factor authentication enabled, we will also get prompted for the 40 token code. We will type in the code as it's generated on the mobile. Once the connection is established, we can see the IP address assigned to the remote user. The IP address is from the IP address range we defined on the 40 gate when we set up the IPsec tunnel. At this point, the remote user can start an RDP session accessing local resources 
behind the 40 gate. If you go back to the 40 gate side, we can also see the IPSEC tunnel active. And this concludes our video. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit video at 40net.